is so productive because it's so damn fast. All right, the next one we have is PTM MVC 3.0. And really, the credit goes over to Sylvain over here. Now, he's not here tonight, but I wanted to just give him credit for where we're going to go. So I want to, I want to talk about this and demonstrate this to you. There was a number of enhancements that we really needed to do to our existing PTM 2.0, and we've been doing a really good job. So I'm going to start with just this thing's fast. I would almost call it blazing fast. I'm almost careful not to say that, but I'm going to illustrate next week can be fast. And I think this is something we should be talking about with our clients, that if they want to take responsibility, that we can make this thing boogie. So I'm just going to click this thing in, okay? and illustrate this thing, okay? Right there, just that part right there to bring, to load it up, bam, right there it came in, okay? It's, it has this similar kind of interface that we've seen before, but I don't know about you, but I'm always looking up the client that I'm trying to work on, like for example, our client Taboola, okay? Right there, it's loaded fast. Any of you who've been using that operation before, you know, like, hey, it takes a little bit of time to go there. Similar kind of operations that we've all seen before, so, it, so it's familiar. However, of course, I can search and very fast in terms of the searches and so forth. I want to also illustrate some other things that he started to do here, which is we've got now a thing under here for settings. I'm actually in right now as external. Let me show what it looks like internally on another window here. This is the internal script. same interface. It will look the same. It doesn't matter whether you're in or not, although it will tell you whether I'm logged in or not. So here's the one where it says logged in. This one over here says external access. In addition, little features in here such as this, I only want to show just what I selected. If you were trying to focus on something with a client, let's just focus on this discussion. Little thing like that you want to do right there. Little features like that. Now. Let me illustrate a few other things. Of course, the stuff that we've always seen before are still in there, but look at how he's done tags now. The tags are basically really quick. So if I take that and say confirm, put that in, it's right there. I can pop it right out. Of course, the owner works the same way, same sort of thing, and title works the same way. Okay, let me illustrate something else here. This is different over here where it says last message. Instead of actually editing right in the line here, you pop up an editor like this. It's very fast, and you can see then right away exactly what is going on with your, as you're writing it here. All the capabilities of the things that you've been normally trying to do, you would put inside here. Your notification email kind of thing, you'll have a list like this. Let's just put Jacob in there. He gets added in real quick like that. In addition, we have a new editor. We're not using NetSuite's editor. So we can put something in here. Marty is, you know, is here. And we can basically say, hey, I want to boo, I want to highlight something. Maybe I want to use the strikeout feature. We're going to try and make the editor, because it's a, an editor that we're taking control of, that's much more easier to use than NetSuite's editor. It's a kind of a pain to use it. So we have kind of control over that, the things we want to do. And all the cut and paste things that we're doing around images are there. Let me close that tab. But that's one way of doing it. But what about doing it this way? There, here we have now a, a layout. And notice I'm going really quick back and forth. Remember how we had PTM preview? But now I'm going into list view very fast. In addition, let me go back over here from the list view. All the, the end of the abstract is showing under here. So you just hover over and you can see the abstract in one place so that you can understand what you're, what's going on. So I'm highlighting this one. I can see the abstract of the, of the information, everything handy, really close by. So I think what's very important to see is it's so productive because it's so damn fast. I mean, how many times like, you know, when we want to use an app and it's slow and it's like, what a pain. Now it's more like a pleasure to use. So I'm enthusiastic about it. And this is NetSuite. Now, how did we do this? We did this because we're not using NetSuite's UI. We 
We are using bootstrap. We're taking, we're doing something that we got to be careful. If we ever did this with a client, we're taking a lot of responsibility for what we're doing. But when we do, look what's possible in terms of an experience. So we can break the mindset that NetSuite is slow. No, it's not. It's slow the way they've implemented it. But if you want this thing to go fast, we can make some bitch and apps. And I'm so excited about that. So let me show how the, another thing over here. We got this thing around settings. Let me show the new layout. It'll go, it'll all look the same over here. But now when I pop it up, it's a different layout in terms of here. So you guys have a little bit of preference. What this is really powerful to see is this is the power of the, of the model view controller paradigm for doing development. The breakaway of your data, which is the model and the view, allows for the transformation of all kinds of things around that. In addition, it's responsive. It should work very well in a smaller device, which could include your, did, I'm, I, did it resize as I did that? I can't tell with the way I'm displaying it. it did. So all of that's like getting complete control over what we would think would be a modern sort of experience. So I kind of still like the old, uh, old settings. So I'm going to go back to it. Still kind of testing everything there. Okay, but wicked, wickedly fast. Okay. Uh, let me uh, see if there's some other things to illustrate. This one right here is the traditional one that pops out to another, to another item. There you go. So kind of a choice, if you want it to pop out to another window, you can, and notice how fast it loaded. So I'm, my, my hope is that you guys can see the experience of this. In addition, we are working on the manage access piece. Let me show you that. So manage access. Here, it's entirely the entire contact database. I think we've got to work on this a little bit because the database is so large, but the, all the contacts are in here. And then, of course, you could basically do a new contact just like you did. So we have one place where that goes. Still working through the testing and so forth. It's fantastic. I, I want to kind of speculate. How do you see this becoming applicable for clients? Because every client I know has its places where it's really slow. And if we could offer something like this, you know, to, to speed it up, they would be ecstatic. But you mentioned specifically there's risk because we're taking over the UI. You know, do you see this as a tool that we're going to put into our yes. toolkit? So, okay, so I'm going to write articles that are going to be sort of illustrating what we just did here. I'm going to do a video. So this is real. This is fast. Then I'm going to write a technical article about what we're doing, which illustrates this. We've done these other iPad apps. We've done these other kind of things that we're doing. There's a marketplace for people that want a better experience. I want to be able to make offers to people who want a better experience, but I want a appropriate kind of conversation about the responsibility of what that means. Some clients will accept the responsibility. Others will go, no, all of that really is about what that means. For example, right now, I'm having some trouble loading this on Firefox. He's working fine on his Firefox. Okay, work through that. It doesn't work on Safari. Okay, you know, what does that mean, right? That's what it starts to mean to take responsibility of it because NetSuite's done a good job of us not having to worry about browser compatibility, but now maybe browser compatibility becomes this thing that we have to worry about. 